secondary growth and annual rings. Secondary growth can be studied by formation of the cambial ring, activity of the cambial ring, structure and function of the annual rings. Formation of the cambial ring A cross-section of a young dicot stem shows that an intrafascicular cambium consisting of radial rows of thin-walled roughly rectangular cells present in between the phloem and xylem tissue. In between the vascular bundles, there are some parenchyma cells which are polygonal in shape and constitute the medullary rays. As the dicot plant grows and matures, some of the medullary ray cells, mostly in line with the intrafascicular cambium, become meristematic and divide to form a strip of interfascicular cambium. This interfascicular cambium joins the intrafascicular cambium on both the sides and forms a complete ring of vascular cambium called the cambial ring. Now let us understand the activity of this cambial ring. A cross section of a dicot plant shows the cambial ring. For an easy and quick understanding, let us look at the simplified view of this stem. With maturity, the active cambial ring gives off new cells both externally and internally. The external cells get modified and differentiate to constitute the secondary phloem, while the new cells on the inner side of the cambium are modified into secondary xylem. The xylem increases more rapidly in bulk than phloem. Due to a greater activity of cambium on the inner side, the cambium, phloem and surrounding tissues are pushed towards the periphery and primary and secondary phloem of the earlier years get crushed. Some narrow bands of parenchyma cells form the secondary medullary rays. This is how the dicot stem has grown in diameter. Secondary growth is the growth occurring due to cambial activity where the stem increases in girth or thickness.